Ronnie O'Sullivan is another step closer to his fifth ranking title of the season. A masterful performance against Ding Junhui to go into the Players' Championship semi-finals. And Ronnie's coming to join us now. Congratulations, Ronnie. You look like you're enjoying that out there. Yeah, it was all right. You know, it started off a bit scrappy, and then I just said to myself, just play like you're in an exhibition. You know, just try and enjoy it, go for your shots, and and have some fun. So if I'm going to lose, lose playing the way I want to play, rather than lose not feeling like I was involved in the match. So I sort of just come out and just thought, just go go for it, really. Because we see you often go come out strong and lead from the front. It's different mm. when you can go a couple of frames behind to somebody like Ding. Yeah, I never, I never worry about the scoreline though, because I think if I find some form, then you know, you, you, you can reel off four or five frames on the trot. So I never really worry about the score. It's just more about my own performance. So I try to sort of change the the pace of how I was playing and the shots I was taking on, and see if I could just get yeah. some fun. Yeah. I mean, I thought that you played well against Dotty last night, but your safety was the thing more so than your scoring. You know, but tonight mm -hmm. when you went a couple down, it felt like you thought this is not quite doing it for me tonight. That kind of style. We need a bit more aggression. I don't really enjoy safety to be honest. No. With you. I can play it, but I don't like sort of long drawn out frames. It's never going to be my game. So especially two 0 down, you're not going to fancy winning that way, are you? Anyway, really, even last night, you know, I know I won, but it was a bit more. Yeah, it was a bit more solid. I was—I didn't feel like I dominated, you know. But I felt like I was, you know, I, I was in charge. But I didn't come off thinking, yeah, I really enjoyed that. You know, it was just a job. I'd done a job last night. You know? We picked out some shots. You know, when you say play like a, like it was an exhibition, this this shot here, Alan said when you played this shot, if he hit, if he pots yeah. this, I'm going home. Yeah, oh, he's not going home yet, is he? <laughs> <laughs> you must have enjoyed that, though. It was a good shot, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I wasn't leaving much on, so you know. Um, I just thought, just play, you know, just play. Sometimes that's a spark game, maybe need it. Yeah, well, I play my best when I'm playing like that because yeah. you, you tend not to think about it, you know. If I start thinking too much, then I'm in trouble. So I just thought, just come and play, just hit the ball. If you start hitting it crisply, things happen for you, you know. You like that shot on the brown, all of a sudden you, you get a few shots where you, you just know you're timing them. And, and I say, we, I thought you finished the match brilliantly. That was like nice playing ball striking. Starting things are starting to happen for you now, aren't they? You know, you have to be patient sometimes. You can't do it from shot one always. Yeah, you just got to just play to the end, you know, from start to finish. And at some point, if you find a bit of rhythm and spark, mm. then you've got a chance of winning. But, you know, like I said, I had to sort of pretend I was playing, you know, like in an exhibition where you just go for your shot, go for your doubles, mm. aggressive safeties, open the balls up, you know, make, you know, see what happens. Poor old uh, Robert Zablocki could barely get the balls back in the spot quick enough for you. Mm. You're so quick, quick down on the table. Yeah, well, he's, he has to keep up with the pace, doesn't he? And he's done a decent job tonight. Yeah, I mean, the, the thing is, I mean, we, we know you beat Ding a few weeks ago in, in Preston, but, you know, you're not yet the world's last year, so you know that he, he can beat you over a long match. He's not frightened of you, is he? You know that he's not one of those players that isn't frightened to beat you if the chance comes. Yeah, no, definitely. You know, he's a top quality player and, you know, he's good under pressure. He's got mm. a good all-round game, you know, so... You know, I knew even, you know, as soon as this went, I thought, yeah, but if, I, if I'd missed this, I thought it could go 5-4 and, you know, then he's probably favourite, you know, because coming from behind is sometimes easier. I wonder if he's ever scored better than you are now, Ronnie, because another three centuries tonight, you know, it's only in Barnsley, I think it was, you got to 900. And now you're 9 nine four two. I make it, you know. You probably never quite scored as heavily as you are now. Well, I'm trying to get to the thousand pretty mm. quick, you know. So um, that's on my, on my mind. So each century I'm trying a little bit more harder now to try and get them. You know? And we were trying to work out when that might happen. You know, people say, oh, could it be next season, the season after? All right, you know, might mm. see in the Champion of Champions. Yeah. <laughs> Knocking in your thousand century. I don't know. Yeah, maybe the end of next season if I carry on, you know. Where I'm going. The other thing about the champion, the champions, there's not going to be many players in it at the moment. Ronnie's already won about <laughs> all the, all the tournaments. Myself. Yeah, <laughs> and just talking of that, and then another thing that happened today, you know, John's beaten you a couple of times. I know you've mm. beaten him as well this season. He's beaten the last twice you've played. Mm. Bit of a surprise to getting beat 6 0 by Ansh McGill, wasn't it? Not really, because I think, you know, he played really well at the Welsh, mm. and, you know, it took a lot out of him, you know, seven matches. And um, I didn't expect, I, you know, I expect John to have a dip and then maybe come back for the World Championships. You just can't keep playing well tournament after tournament. You just, it's impossible. The game's a great leveller sometimes, isn't it? Because he didn't play anything like that today. Well, if I was John, I'd have missed Gibraltar, I'd have missed Romania, had a yeah. nice little break and come there a bit fresh. But you go to Romania, you get a bit of a dodgy result, and then you, you know, you're just mm. travelling in and out of airports. Sometimes it's nice to stay at home. And, yeah. You know. you, oh, that's true. As I said before, you're another step closer to that fifth ranking title. I know you've got a semi final 
coming, but uh, you know, that would be another another one to mark up to, to, to take five ranking titles in a season. Very few people have done that. Yeah, no, listen, I'm not, I'm not driven by some sort of stuff like that. Like I say, you know, I just want to try and enjoy my game, play, play a way that I feel like I'm you know, happy to be out there. You know? I think that's the other thing, Jill. For, so if someone's going to step up and um, challenge this guy, I, I think they have to try and relax the way he's talking about Otherwise, it ain't going to happen because he's playing that good. Someone's going to have to play well to, to beat Ronnie, you know, and obviously I'm saying that on his behalf, but you, you just get that feeling that yeah. while anyone can lose at this game, they're going to have to play some good snooker, Ronnie, aren't they, I think? Yeah, but there's a lot of good players out there yeah. playing well. Neil's playing good, Judd, you know, there's so many, like Mark Williams is flying. Mm. You know, that, you know I just, I'm just happy to be in the mix every tournament, yeah. you know, um, and it's just consistency is probably the key, I think. And it's a you know, nice tournament here, lovely place. You're out for a run today up in the Great Orm. You like nice place to, to get some fresh air. Yeah, it's nice. And my mate Don, um, who's got the fish restaurant around the corner, um, the seahorse where we go and eat our food. He's, he's, I was around his house today just watching the snooker. So it's always nice home from home, you know. Like yeah. sitting in a hotel can be a bit, yeah. you know, it's not easy. So I was sitting on his couch, cups of tea, nice bit of fresh fish. And uh, the day just went past nicely, so Beautiful. more of that this week. That's the fair on that. Beautiful. Good stuff. Beautiful. Listen, well done today. Great to have you in top form. Uh, coming up after the break, we'll look ahead to tomorrow's second uh, quarterfinal. Neil Robertson is up against Judd Trump. We'll talk about that in a couple of minutes.